twerk the center, twerk the center, twerk the center, and his little elf crew, twerk the center, twerk the center, twerk the center, and his reindeer too, twerk the center, twerk the center, twerk the center, you know what to do, twerk the center, twerk the center, twerk the center, just twerk the center. Twerking is the center, gotta twerk it like Ho ho ho! Should that be my new intro for this whole thing? Because I just feel like it's more about the spirit, you know what I mean? What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Will on a Whim, okay? It's Vlogmas! Today I'm going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time now, but I finally have the means to do so. I actually um, went ahead and purchased some hair, okay? Let me show you this hair real quick, okay? Uh, it's a... Uh... Girl, 100% premium soft Kanakalon. Back in the day, I feel like we used to call this Kankilon. <laughs> I honestly remember my sisters calling this hair Kankilon. I found myself not too long ago mentioning to a friend that I wanted to buy Kankilon hair, and she was like, you mean Kanakalon? And that was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. Just kidding, I've had more embarrassing moments, but I bought this hair, okay? And today I'm gonna be trying to braid my hair. I'm gonna try to braid this into my hair. So like I bought this hair right and then I was like, wait, hmm, I don't know how to braid connect along hair into my own hair. So I went on the YouTube girl, youtube.com slash whatever I needed to go to in order to figure out how to do this. I learned a couple of things, a couple of techniques on how to incorporate this into my hair. But first girl, we gotta have the hair, okay? Um so let's let's take the let's take the sand head off. <gasps> I look like a garden gnome. So, ooh, girl dropped my hat. Um, I wonder if Santa Claus feels some type of way when he takes off his hat. Does he feel naked? Like, does he feel revealed? Does he feel like his disguise has been taken off? Like, who is the real Santa? The people want to know. Oh, sis, no, 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 <laughs> no, I don't believe in Santa. <laughs> I'm not 24 years old still believing in Santa Claus. <laughs> Dashing through the snow. Okay, let's go ahead and take this off. Let's reveal what's underneath. Oh, it's some chunky twist. Woo, yay. Guys, I put my hair in these chunky twists not too long ago, and listen, not not too long ago, I put these in a, a while ago. And the point I'm trying to make here is that my hair is still so moisturized. I don't know if you can get that on camera. Bob, come closer, come closer, Bob. I used um, a few different things. I used LK Naturals um, Shea Yogurt. I have a 15% off discount code if you all wanna try that out. I put all of the information for that in the description box, but I also used, on top of the LK Naturals Shea Yogurt, Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Cast Oil Leave-In Conditioner, um, uh, their Gel Curling Souffle, which that stuff is so lit. So on top of all of those other other really, why am I standing so close to the camera? Can I move back a little bit, sis? <laughs> On top of all of those other really moisturizing products, I used Care Care's leave-in conditioner, and that stuff, woo, Jesus. So going into this, my hair is super moisturized, even though I did these twists a long time ago. I have about, mm, about 12 chunky twists in, and I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. This is my first time trying to do this, y'all. This is what you need to do, girl. You gotta practice. Practice makes perfect. You can't just be like, you know, stepping out onto the scene all brand new, fresh face, just was born, and then expect to be Beyonce. Like, it's just not gonna be like, hold up, they don't love you like I love you. Slow down, they don't love you like I love you. Back up, they can't love you like I love you. Step down, something don't feel right, because it ain't right, especially coming up after midnight. I smell your secrets, and I'm not too perfect To ever feel this worse when Saturday come down to this Scrolling through your call list I don't wanna lose my pride, but I'm a Y'all, this hair is a mess <laughs> But I would definitely dye my hair like a brown color Or like a reddish even Who knows, I'm a wild kind of girl So I looked up all these videos, right, and they were like Sis, what you need to do is you need to crisscross And I was like, what does that mean? And they were like, let me show you So what they do is basically they'll take like some hair, right and then I'll split it in two. Boom. Also, this is very, very messy. I recommend like, I don't know, girl, putting on a blindfold when you walk around so that you don't have to see all the hair everywhere and get anxiety from it. But then you go ahead and you literally take one strand and then you take the other and then you crisscross it like this. Is that, if that makes sense to you all, it's literally just like this. You see that, you see that? And then basically you take the two strands and then you put those together as one. Like marriage, sis. Aww. And then you'll have sort of like three hair strands there. Boom, don't, don't, right? I'm gonna take this twist and then I'm gonna separate it into three sections. <laughs> Boom. So we have three different sections. Take the three sections of the fake hair and you match it up with your natural hair. And then you braid as you would, girl. I'm trying this. 
for the first time, sis, so don't judge me. But this is, I wanted to show you all like the process that I go through when I'm trying to learn how to do something new with my hair. I practice, and sometimes it doesn't work out, sometimes it does, but hopefully it does. Also, I got another deal for you all. So if you use the code Will on a Whim at I got another deal for you all. So if you use the code Will on a Whim at Iraba Cosmetics, okay, you'll be able to get a discount off of some of the products here. Um, you can't really see it because my exposure is turned all the way up. This is basically like an all natural grease. I would I would call it a grease. They call it a hair balm because I think that's I don't know. I think that's a more friendly term. <laughs> so difficult like <laughs> it feels so awkward but I think I'm doing it I can't really tell I'm not doing this in a mirror I'm just feeling it out because I feel like that's the best way to get your hands used to it usually it comes to me but I think I'm getting it does it look okay okay so I think I sort of got it so this is where you pick up the paces and you just start braiding that joint oh it kind of looks good I see it <gasps> Yes, yes, yes. You can't tell me nothing with there's long hair in my hair. Oh, uh, it's so long. Well, it's not that long, girl. We're not out here looking like formation, sis. We're out here looking more like Brandy from uh, Cinderella. Like I said, I was watching a bunch of tutorials on how to braid hair, and a lot of them were like, braid all the way down a step, as far as you can go, to minimize unraveling. So that's what I'm doing. And that's sort of the end. Obviously, it looks cray cray. But look, y'all, it's my first braid, and it's tight, like, wow. I want to look at this in the mirror. Oh, I'm so, I'm proud of myself. I mean, the roots definitely could be a little tighter than that, but honestly, I don't need that. I don't need to have my roots to be super tight and super clean because it's like, I'm not trying to rip my hair out. Mm, girl, if I was back in high school right now, where all those girls who sat in front of me would always be like, and they would whip me in the back, you know, whenever I was sitting behind them in my desk, they would always be like, <laughs> and they would like whip me in the back with their hair. So this is for all y'all that scarred my face in high school. <laughs> this hair was actually super cheap. It was like four, Never mind. It was $7 a pack and I got three packs. drawback to doing braids like this is that they do take forever and so you have to have a lot of patience and you have to make sure that you're still treating your hair right in your scalp girl you don't want to be ripping your hair out I definitely made an attempt to sort of grab tighter so that it could look a little bit more clean still without pulling out my edges even in this one attempt we are getting better as we go and they still look they look cute like I'm obsessed with these they look clean because they don't really frizz up in the way that your natural hair does <laughs> First of all, they're coming out cleaner than I expected. Like what? I'm not cornrowing or anything, so it's actually not like higher level braiding out here. But I do think it's really simple when you use the crisscross technique and you match up three strands with three strands of your own hair and just braid like you normally would. It's so easy that way. And then you learn sort of how to grab tightly as you go. And y'all, like, I'm like, girl, what? I'm gonna keep going just to see if I can, um, you know, get over the hurdle of braiding in the back as well, cause that's a whole other feat, sis. Mis amigos, si tu practicas, tu vas a mejorar. Okay, mark my words, if you practice, you will get better. Apparently doing this with the hair at the ends helps like make sure that the braids aren't blunt at the end This makes it look a bit more natural even though it's all fake hair sis I'm gonna attempt to do a braid in the back and then that's it. I'm done. I'm not trying to do this all night Crisscross applesauce hot cross buns. You can't see back there, but ain't nothing changed. Okay, the rules are still the same I'm just gonna try to match up one of the strands with each 
this, I can't do this. But there's a voice inside my head that's saying, keep going, you can do this. I think I got one hair strand. And then here's a hair strand, and we're gonna match that up with, with, <laughs> I don't know, where's the other hair strand? Oh, it's in the back. Oh, it's right here, okay. So we're gonna match that up here. Hoping it's okay back there and not like a raccoon is doing my hair. <laughs> oh, I feel it, it's like super loose. This is the, <laughs> this is the joy of practicing. You just don't know what's going on, but you keep practicing and then somehow you figure it out. Okay, so <laughs> I feel like there's a whole tarantula on my face. All in all, okay, this back one, it's a little loose. Um, but it looks more natural that way. Uh -huh, excuses. I feel like it could work. Like, it could work. I could do this. All I need is a little bit more practice, and I think I'll be able to get this down. This could be a look. Like, it honestly could be a look. And this is a great protector style for all of you who um, are looking for new protector styles. Obviously, if your hair is, like, too short for this, don't try to make these braids happen, okay? Because you'll end up just gripping your hair so tightly and pulling them into these braids, and you'll be, like, stressing out your hair follicles, and that leads to more shedding and you don't want that you don't want to lose hair because you want it to look like beyonce in formation <laughs> don't play yourself do better but all in all like i said i feel confident about this i'm glad that i took this time to practice i'm going to try to put this in a little fake ponytail real quick oh see sis it would look so cute oh my god oh my god oh my god all right, everybody, that brings us to the end of another episode of Will on a Whim Vlogmas Edition. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up, okay? And if you wanna, you know, stay around and be my homie, just click that subscribe button. What are you doing? It's so easy. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I'll see all of you back here real soon for Vlogmas, but until then, bye. Santa Claus, we made some brown tall before Christmas Day. He be at parties, malls, and even parades. But with so much work, I don't know how he does it. I know but it. this twerk I'm about to give him gon' be his Christmas present. Twerk the Santa, twerk the Santa, twerk the Santa, and his little elf crew.